What is going on guys, Militia here, and welcome back to another episode of Militia Chat, the premier series on my channel where I talk about the random crap that goes on in my head, and things that I just talk about, and things that just, you know, kind of happen in my life that I want to share with you guys. I love doing this series, as you guys know, I love doing it because it's really simple for me to make, it's just really fun, because I get to kind of just talk about random stuff, and you guys seem to really just enjoy watching these, so, you know, I want to keep doing these on a more regular basis. So, um, today we're going to talk about a few different things that I've been talking about with my friends, and things that have been kind of going on on the internet, and the whole world, and some stuff that just happened to me kind of recently, and also something that literally just happened about a week ago, depending on when I upload this. I don't, I don't know when we're uploading this video, but, you know, it happened a couple days ago, let's put it like that. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about today is this whole thing that's kind of happened with gaming over the past couple of years. And it's this whole thing with Battle Royale games. And it all started with DayZ. And the evolution of it has kind of changed so much. Like, it was a very simple landscape when it first started with DayZ. Then the big thing became, you know, H1Z1, King of the Kill. And that's kind of where it really took off. And it's kind of evolved a lot more, like I just said. Like, it evolves a lot more over each of the games that you see over time. Take for example when, because I'm not counting Daisy because I've never personally played Daisy, so I can't really formulate the great opinion on it, but when you play H1Z1 King of the Kill, it takes elements from the Just Survive game mode where you actually have to craft bandages and different things that you would want, and it adds this kind of unique flair, and all these games have that sort of uniqueness to it. PUBG has this realistic sort of vibe to it where, you know, there's attachments, there's vehicles, the zone works very differently than the gas in H1. Like I said, it's much more realistic than its predecessor, H1. And then you get Fortnite, which kind of threw a lot of the realisticness out the window and traded it for, you know, silly antics and, you know, cartoony graphics and adds this very different style to a very simple formula that's been created over these years. And it has exploded outward. There are thousands, and I mean thousands of other games now that have Battle Royale games. You know, like Radical Heights, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That, remember that game with the people that are blue and red and you, you know, they fight each other depending on the scenario that you set up? Now they have a Battle Royale. You got Darwin Project. You got Black Ops 4 coming out soon with its own Battle Royale style game mode. And, and it blows my mind that like, this is something that's like, happening to the world like the landscape of gaming has kind of revolved around this idea of a battle royale game and I, and I don't know why in a sense like battle royales are fun to me like i'll play fortnite but i also you know enjoy playing a very well created game that has a very enriching story like something like detroit become human which i have not gotten the luxury of playing because i don't have a ps4 <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the point. I think kind of battle royales have sort of taken over the landscape of gaming. Well, where we've gone from just simple storytelling. I mean, don't, and don't get me wrong, there are plenty of other games that have come out this year, like Bendy and the Ink Machine, Far Cry 5, things like that, that have made their mark and dent in gaming, but they haven't done enough to sort of break people away from the battle royale because, you know, these games get updated constantly. There are plenty of new ones all the time that are coming out, being updated constantly, a lot of these games, minus PUBG, but that's no offense, no offense, PUBG. Not a fan of it, but you know, you should update it more. Make it so it can run on low-end PCs. But that's not the point. Not the point. But yeah, it's kind of just... I've noticed that it kind of just has taken over the gaming world. And a lot of my friends have said that. And a lot of people on the internet have said that. And my question for you guys I want to ask is... When do you think Battle Royale genre will die? Is it when Fortnite will just shut down completely after like season 15 in like 10 years? Who knows? I, I don't know. I, I just want to know what you guys think of this idea. And do you guys think Battle Royale games will ever end? And what the next trend then would be for gaming. All right, so this next topic goes completely different from what we were just talking about. This is something that's just kind of I've been doing recently that I've been really kind of getting into again because it's been a few years since I've actually done this. I've been uh, actually collecting Pokemon packs, like the new ones for the like the Crimson Invasion, and uh, I feel so stupid because I can't remember the rotation because I can't. Uh, I can't remember what the hell the uh, new pack that I just got was, but I've been getting into Pokemon again, and, and I love doing that when I was younger. Like, I used to play in tournaments all the time at this one local comic shop, and I still live with my mom, and that whole situation was going on. Uh, I used to play in a lot of tournaments, because I knew the owner, and it was a really just fun time getting into it, and then I kind of, you know, fell out of love with Pokemon. Like, I didn't play a lot of the games after that. Like, I played a lot of Pokemon, like TCG, the video games, and all that stuff, and then I kind of just 
slowly faded away from it. And nowadays, I've been trying to get back into it, you know, I've been trying to get a couple new packs and just trying to understand the GXs and the EXs and the GTC, uh, I don't know. I, I can't keep track of any of the new stuff anymore. I mean, I've gotten two GXs. I've got a Palkia and a, uh, I can't remember, but actually, hold on. Kraton e, uh, GX as well that I got recently. I, sorry, I had to look it up on my phone because I was, I've been messaging my friend Kermit because Kermit is also into, uh, you know, Pokemon and stuff like that. If you guys don't know Kermit, link's in the description. Go check out his channel. He does upload sometimes. Sometimes he does. But, you know, Pokemon for me has just been kind of something I'm getting back into. I want to eventually try to play in some tournaments now and then, like, just casually. I don't want to get back into it, like, competitively, because that costs a lot of money <laughs> that I don't have. And, uh, you know, it's just been something really fun, you know, seeing the new Pokemon generations and things like that. You know, the new Pokemon coming out on the Switch. Uh, I have to get a Switch also because I want to play Mario Kart with my friends because a couple of my friends and I have been talking about it. We want to get Switches so we can start playing games like Smash Bros. when they come out. Mario Kart, obviously, like I just said, because, you know, that would be something for perfect. That was me and my friends. That would be something that would be designed perfectly for my friends and I, and it would just bring up the inner asshole and all this. So I'm really excited to kind of be getting a Switch in the near future. Not anytime soon. You guys won't be seeing that soon, soon. I'll probably get a PS4 because, you know, once again, want to play Detroit, become human, and until dawn 2 when that comes out. But anyway, next topic. So, this last topic is something that happened um, on June 4th at 1.27pm Eastern Standard Time, if you guys were curious. Um, it was something kind of big in my life. I turned 20, you know, that's two whole decades that I've lived through now, and it's, and the most important thing I think I can say is that it's, it's an experience you know when you turn an age up you know when you're in your teens and stuff it's nothing too fancy but then when you break a decade like when you hit 10 you know you're kind of like oh my god this is so cool and then you hit 20 and then you're you're leaving no it's not but then you hit 20 and all of a sudden you get this different mindset it doesn't come at first but then the next few days after you start to think about you know the future you start to think about you know the different things that you want to do you know what path you want to take the things that you want as goals and which goals you're willing to which goals you want to pursue in life and the different things that you will do to get them and you start to think about people and you start to realize you know the petty squabbles you had as being you know teenagers were stupid and they're idiotic it's it's stupid to fight you know you're still young at an age like this but you know this is stuff i've thought about for years in general but when you're young you get into these stupid arguments and you say these things and you cut people out of your life because you're young your popularity in high school is the most important thing to you when you're coming into high school or middle school you know you're thinking about Susie B, who's dating Johnny L, or, you know, something stupid like that, you know. But when you get older, you realize it didn't matter about that. It mattered who your friends are, the memories that you need, the memories that you plan to make, the memories that you will make. And balancing, you know, work life, you know, hobbies, relationships, all of that. And it, and it makes you just think about sort of what you want to do with your life in a sense if that makes any sense at all and i've taken a lot of time over the past few days to kind of you know you know i would love to keep making videos for the rest of my life and if, be, if it became a job i would be ecstatic honestly it would be something that would become a dream come true for me that sound worded words are hard but you get what i meant i want to be able to make memories with the woman that I love, the person that's very important in my life, who I've been with for over a year and eight months now. Her name is Marissa, if you guys know her. You know, she's a very important part of my life. My friends are a very important part of my life, you know. And it's gotten me thinking about kind of just a lot of where I want to go. I want to make memories. I want to be able to live my life. I don't want to be stuck behind a chair for the rest of my life just doing one thing. I don't want to miss out on life because I'm doing something else, you know. I want to be able to travel and just see more of the world. I, I mean, I'm not talking about like going to like 
Tokyo or Japan or, or uh, England or anything anytime soon. That's not what I mean. I mean like, you know, I'd love to go to like New Jersey or go over to Florida or Ohio or Michigan or Kentucky. You know, see my friends in different states that I've met on the internet. You know, things like that. You know, I would love the ability to just grow more as a person this year. That's what I really want as my goal for turning 20 and the decade on. I want to be able to grow more as me, as Pete, not just as militia as well. Because I think when I was still in high school, you know, I put more emphasis on being either militia or being, you know, being somebody else that I thought that I wasn't. And a lot of people, for example, like I said, my girlfriend, my family, my friends have kind of woken me up from this idea of, hey, you know, you can be you too, and maybe this doesn't make sense, and maybe I'm just rambling on and letting my mind go, but I don't know. I've just experienced a lot over the past 10 years of my life, you know, grown from this you know, little kid with the stars shooting beyond anything that I could ever imagine to being 20, and starting to think about stuff more realistically. Thinking about how can I bring my dreams into a reality? How can I make the best memories? How can I do, you know, the best person that I can? How can I be the best person that I am, in a sense? And I feel like that's something that a lot of people should take the time to think about. Don't try to be someone you're not. Be you always. Don't ever not be you. That is where I think we're going to end it. I apologize, that got really meta and it got really deep real fucking quick. I, I do apologize for that. Um, I kind of just let my mind go. I recorded this over again because the first time I shot this, I was not very prepared and I wanted to kind of prepare something a little bit better. But then I, my mind just kind of took over and was like, you know what, let's just run and just say what's going through our head as we go. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Militia Chat. Um, if you guys have any topics that you guys want me to talk about in the future for a future episode, I s words again are hard. <laughs> uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to do these videos more on a frequent basis of like maybe once a week instead of every other week because, you know, if you guys really want me to do it, I'll do that. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. As always, see you guys next time. Bye-bye!